Dwight Evans, one of the best right fielders ever, won eight gold gloves. So when he calls a certain play is most important, it's worth looking at again. It happened in Game 6 of the 1975 World Series, the game that's better known for Carlton Fisk's heroic homer in the bottom of the 12th. Well, Fisk may have never had the chance to be the hero had it not been for Dwight Evans' great catch in the top of the 11th. Evans and the assistant director of public relations at the time, Dick Bresciani, repaint the picture. In 1975, I made a catch that, uh, uh, you know, after Carbo hit his home run and uh, allowed Fist to hit his home run, but I think it was in the 10th inning or 11th inning, the top of the 11th. The top of the order is up in the 11th. Uh, it was extremely suspenseful and with uh, Ken Griffey Sr. getting on first base with one out. Here's Ken Griffey Sr. on first base. He could run. He was one of the fastest guys in baseball. And then Joe Morgan, who goes on to become a great Hall of Fame player, uh, you knew we were in trouble. Now I've got Joe Morgan at the plate. In my mind, I am saying, if he hits one in the gap, I've got to dive and try to cut it off. One hopper, get up and try to keep Griffey from scoring. Base hit, hit at me hard. I can, I maybe have a chance of throwing Griffey out at third base. Ball hit over my head. Ball hit down the line, I gotta do this now. This is all going in just seconds, it's going through my mind, but good fielders do that. That's, the, that's how great plays are made. So I'm saying, hits it over my head, I, there's no tomorrow, I've gotta go in the stands. I was located uh, at the top of the steps coming into the dugout from the tunnel and try to stay out of the way, naturally not to be a bother. Uh, you never wanna get out in the middle of the dugout. Morgan hits a ball in, so the, the natural, saying he hit, hits it over my head so I turn towards the line because the ball normally turns towards the line too. Well this particular ball didn't turn. This ball stayed straight. Right away the first thing the way the ball was hit and, I, and what my memory tells me is that I thought it was going to be a home run. Uh, it was hit up in the air, it was a towering drive, uh, he certainly looked like he got all of the pitch and he had pulled it toward the right field corner. So I'm getting back, I'm running back, and the ball is here on this side of my head. And it's not turning at all. So it looks awkward because I lost the ball from here to here. I was trying to look around the manager, Darrell Johnson, and a lot of the players had come up toward the top steps to see because the way the ball was pulled, a lot of them couldn't see. Uh, and I was trying to follow Dwight. So I'm looking at Dwight and seeing, I, I, I took my eye away from the ball, uh, which I couldn't see at that point anyway as I got to the outfield. I'm looking toward Dwight and I see him twist and turn and go back toward the stands and saying, oh, you know, to yourself, say, oh God, it's gonna be a home run. And you ask any player, when you lose a ball, that's a scary situation. And so no one was more surprised than me. I jumped and my glove went behind my head and the ball landed in my glove. So. I turn around, I'm, I'm glad, thank God I caught the ball because uh, you know it goes in the stands. It was, it was in that area right where the bullpen starts and the fence, fence goes down to you know about belly button high to where that ball probably would have cleared the fence. As he caught the ball, he immediately pivoted and immediately threw the ball toward the infield. His reaction was great uh, because Griffey had taken off when the ball was hit. I think Griffey thought for sure the ball was either going to land and bounce along the wall or go into the stands. He just took off. He wanted to score that run. So I, I'm happy I got it. I turned around, fired into to, uh, towards first base, and I threw it to the coaching coaching box area in first base, and I think, uh, I think Yaz got it and flipped it to Burleson. So he threw the ball in. It came toward the coach's box. It was offline, but Yaz ran over to, to get it and give Rick Burleson, the shot stop, tremendous credit. He had come over to be lined up as a relay man, and he just kept right on coming to first base. So when Yaz got the ball, he flipped it back to Burleson, who tagged the bag ahead of Griffey to get that double play and ended the inning. Gave us a chance, it kept us alive. It was probably the most important catch I made. To me, it wasn't the best catch I made. It was, it was an awkward catch, but there was a reason why it was so awkward, because I did lose the ball for that split second. It's a great tale for us to have, that, to know that, that uh, what could have been uh, a tragedy in the game turned out to be great, but he did lose the trajectory. Not too many people know that.
When you talk about Dwight Evans, the subject of defense always comes up, but he was also a great hitter. He had 379 career homers and nearly 2,400 hits, and we'll have his life story on a later edition of Red Sox Stories.